All right, what's up, everybody? Uh, it's been a while. Anyway, the reason I'm here today is I thought it would be fun to make a little tournament. A little while back on TikTok, I got a, I saw a TikTok about what would it be like if WWE held their own Queen of the Ring. And it got me thinking, along with a couple of other comments, about what a WWE Queen of the Ring would ideally look like. So I decided to make one for myself, but I added a, my own little twist into it. See, this tournament isn't only going to have women from WWE, such as Raw, SmackDown, and NXT. It's also going to have a little bracket for the independents. And the whole point of this tournament is to get a shot at a women's championship of the winner's choosing. And the goal of this tournament is to do a couple of things. First off, we want to give a highlight to those who aren't being used all that often. We want to tell compelling stories. We want to have a big bad that can be overcome. And we want to be able to make a new star. So without further ado, let's take a look at our competitors. On the raw bracket, we have Mandy Rose, Natalia, Shayna Baszler, and Charlotte Flair. On the SmackDown side, we have Ruby Riot, Carmella, Naomi, and Bailey. In the NXT bracket, we're going to be having Aaliyah, Zia Lee, Ember Moon, and Shotzi Blackheart. And on the independent bracket, we're going to be having Sandra Moon, Billy Starks, Trisha Dora, and Alley Cat. So let's get underway. In the first match, we're going to be having Charlotte Flair take on Sandra Moon. Now, if you haven't seen Sandra Moon, I recommend checking her out. She does absolutely great work. She's fun to watch. And while she is fun to watch in this match, the Queen is just much too powerful, and Charlotte moves on to the next round. Next, we have Bailey versus Aaliyah. Now, as a big Bailey fan, here's how I would make it work. Bailey is just going on a tear and just absolutely decimates Aaliyah. Bailey moves on to round two. Next, we have Natalia versus Xia Li. Now, I think this one could be a really, really good match with Xia Li's martial arts style and Natalia's technical style. This one we're going to have go for a bit, and after some back and forth, we're going to have Natalia move on to round two. Next, we're going to have Naomi take on Shayna Baszler. And much like the bailey Aliyah match, this one's going to be very one-sided. And not to put any shame on Naomi, but I want to portray Shayna as one of those big bads that could go all the way to the end of the tournament. Next, we're going to have Billy Starks versus Mandy Rose. Now, I love Mandy Rose being a big, big powerhouse. And Billy, Billy is young. If you haven't watched Billy Starks, she is an absolute prodigy. I highly recommend checking out some of Billy's matches. But she is young, very young, in fact. And that plays to Mandy Rose's disadvantage, as Mandy Rose doesn't take Billy too seriously. And while Mandy is able to overpower Billy at every turn, we're going to have Billy get the win after a roll up out of nowhere to move on to round two. Then we're going to have Carmella versus Trish Adora. Now, again, much like all the other ones on the independent scene, I do love me some Trish Adora, but we can't have it all good on here. So after some back and forth here where Trish is obviously getting the upper hand on one Carmella, Carmella cheats to beat Trish Adora to move on to round two. Next, we're going to have Ember Moon versus Ruby Riot. These two have some history back in their early days of NXT, feuding for quite some time. These two are going back and forth, just back and forth, back and forth. But eventually, Ember does pick up the win to move on to round two. And last but not least, in round one, we're going to have Shotzi Blackheart take on Alley Cat. Now, these two women can go all out. You could say they could go balls out. That's for all the old school Shotzi fans out there. But I feel like this one could get a little bit rough and tumble, a little bit hardcore if, if it need be. I, I want to keep all these matches, you know, like the sanctity of wrestling rules, like typical WWE wrestling rules where no disqualification, where there are disqualifications and stuff. But I feel like we could have a little bit of fun with it. And this, I feel like, could be an absolute tournament stealer. I know it's even in the first round, but I feel like this could be be one because Alley Cat is just phenomenal and Shotzi's phenomenal. But in the end, Shotzi's going to be picking up the win, moving on to round two. Starting off round two, we're going to have Charlotte take on Bailey. Again, another match that could steal the tournament. These two are going back and forth as two of the four horsewomen. But in the end, Charlotte takes the win, moving on to the semifinals. 
Then we're going to have Natalia take on Shayna Baszler. And these two, again, this is where we want Natalia to shine because Natalia is a technical wrestler. She is a heart, damn it. So we want her to be able to really show what she can do in this match. But again, Shayna is much more powerful than Natalia. And after a Koakina clutch out of nowhere, Shayna is able to pick up the victory and move on to the semifinals. Then we're going to have Carmella versus Billy Starks. Now this is another time whenever Carmella did not watch Mandy Rose's match and she does not take Billy Starks seriously. But here is the difference in this match. Billy Starks does not let up and she doesn't let Carmella's heckling get the advantage of her. In another surprise upset, Billy Starks is able to pick up the win decisively against Carmella, moving on to the semifinals. And to finish out the round two of this tournament, we are going to have tag team members Shotzi Blackheart and Ember Moon take each other on. Another drag out brawl as these two take each other to the absolute limit, but in the end, Shotzi is going to pick up the win. In the semifinals, we're going to have Charlotte take on Shayna Baszler. Again, another big technical match where we don't know which of these two baddies could, could get the advantage of, over each other. This is a heel versus heel match. It's one we don't see very often, but I think this could have a really, really good dynamic of two that are just taking each other to their absolute limit. But in the end, the queen will prevail and Charlotte will move on to the finals of the queen of the ring. In the semifinals of the other side of the bracket, we are going to have Shotzi Blackheart take on Billy Starks. Now, for those of you who don't know, these two have a little bit of a history. See, Shotzi went under a guise at one point as Pizza Cat, and Billy went under the guise of Pizza Cat Jr. So it is kind of a mentor mentor kind of match. Let's, let's have Shotzi see what Billy Starks can do in this fight. And try as she might, Billy is not able to pick up to the victory. She is able to make it to the semifinal round, but Shotzi picks up the win and moves on to the finals. And in the finals, we are going to have Shotzi Blackheart take on Charlotte Flair. And who wins this Queen of the Ring tournament that is in my head? I'll let you decide. That's right, depending on what type of story you want to tell, I'm going to let you guys finish out the tournament. So let me know in the comments who wins McRuber's Queen of the Ring tournament. Thanks a lot for watching.